When I teach at the university where I work, many students ask me the same question. Which version of Ableton Live should I buy? Should I just buy intro because it's the cheapest? Man, Sweet is very expensive. Do I really need that? And is the standard version good enough? Also, with the new Ableton Live 12 update, they've shifted some of the features around the different versions. There is one big thing you should be aware of, but more on that later. So let's start with intro. Intro is fantastic for beginners. It's affordable and it's a great entry point for music production and Ableton Live. Ableton Live intro is only £69, which is fantastic value for money. Another pro is you can always upgrade at a later date. A couple of cons, which is the track limitations and no parametric EQ. Now, if we go down the software instruments, this is where the limitations happen again for intro. You start seeing you don't have quite a lot of the instruments included. Having said that, you can import any third party plugins that you might have. Also, another con is the fact that there are no MIDI tools. So not having them in the beginner package is something to be aware of. Now, standard is an amazing middle ground. It removes the track and scene limitations and gives you more audio effects, MIDI effects, and access to Ableton Live 12's new amazing MIDI tools. Pro for standard is that it's a full version of Ableton Live, minus some audio effects, MIDI effects, instruments, and sample packs. Now, as with intro, you can also import any third-party plugins, VSTs, sample packs that you may already have into Ableton Live Standard. Also, another pro, if you are missing the access to Max for Live and some of those instruments, you can buy them from the Ableton shop. Now, you will have to check the shop because they only have a limited amount of instruments there. They don't have the new Ableton 12 ones there yet. They might update it, but they haven't as of yet. Pros and cons of Suite, this is the complete package. This has everything Ableton Live has to offer. You really have a wealth of creative tools to make really awesome music. You also get the access to Max for Live. All your Ableton Live needs are covered. Another pro is there's no need to buy any additional plugins or audio effects. But well, this has all the amazing new MIDI tools, all the amazing new instruments from Ableton 12, all the modulation capabilities. Biggest con with Suite is probably the price, which leads me perfectly into the next section of this video, which is price. So if you look here as of March 2024, intro is 69 pounds, which as I said before, that is one of the pros of this version of Ableton Live. It's very accessible. Standard is £259, which I think is pretty competitive compared to some other DAWs out there on the market. Ableton Live Suite is a whopping £539. Whoo, that's expensive. But like I say, it's the full version of Ableton Live. You won't need anything else. So which version is right for you? Do you really need to sink £539 or can you just spend £69 and be absolutely fine? If you're new to music production, you're just starting out and you want to just access some of the features Ableton Live has to offer, maybe try out this amazing session view for the first time, intro version is for you. It's very cheap and it lets you learn the basics. This way it'll ensure you won't feel overwhelmed with all the amazing features Suite can offer, which when you first start out might be a little daunting to get your head around. For most producers, standard would be a very good option. Standard has all the core features of Ableton Live. It's just limited on some of the instruments, audio effects, and sample packs modulators. Also, if you're coming to Ableton Live with a wealth of third-party plugins, VSTs, and sample packs, you are not really going to feel many limitations between the standard and suite version. I think this option is very good for students as the price is very accessible and you have more than enough you need to start learning how to produce music with Ableton Live. It's also great for, say, singer-songwriters or somebody that's recording predominantly audio. And just like intro, you can always upgrade at a later date. So who is sweet for? Someone that wants the full power of Ableton Live and all the new amazing instruments and audio effects Ableton 12 has. This would be great for electronic music producers looking for a self-contained and experimental creative playground with lots of capabilities to create a really futuristic sound. It's also really good for somebody that is starting out and has no sounds and instruments or third-party plugins. You have 
everything you need within one package and you would not need to upgrade at a later date. So now let's look at some price hacks. There are some ways to get cheaper versions of Ableton Live. So if you look here on each version of Ableton Live, you can pay in three installments. This makes the price a little bit more digestible, especially if you're thinking about buying Ableton Live Suite. The other price hack is thinking about getting Ableton Live Lite. It's essentially a free version of Ableton Live that comes with certain audio interfaces, MIDI controllers, apps, and synthesizers. Now, the only difference between intro and light is that light you only have eight scenes and eight tracks. So light is even more limited than intro but it is free. Next price hack is educational offers. So we click up there. If you're a student or teacher, you get at present 50% off. Now I must say I am filming this in March, 2024. So unfortunately this does fluctuate. So it might not always be 50%. But in that case, if it is 50%, you can get Ableton Live intro for 34 pounds and still access this pay in three installments. So that's taking it down to just over £10 a month for three months, which is very accessible. Also, it makes standard super affordable as well and even sweet. One thing to note with this here, if you're thinking, I'll get intro and then I'll just carry on upgrading. It does say down here, if you go right down, can education licenses be upgraded? Yes, the education discount is only available when buying a new license and cannot be applied to upgrades. You will have to pay for the full upgrade. So there'll be no 50% discount between upgrading between whichever version you get. Just bear that in mind when you're thinking about purchasing a version with your student discount. That said, Sweet seems like a very attractive option with this price and you won't have to upgrade at a later date. This is also available for teachers. So if you are a teacher like myself, you can also access this discount. So which version would I recommend buying first? Well, I think this depends on your needs and your production goals. I think for most music producers and beginners and students, standard is a solid option. It has all the full features of Ableton Live, including the new MIDI tools. If you are a student or a teacher, I would absolutely recommend getting standard. It's super accessible, only £129, pay in three installments. That is a very, very good option. With that said, you won't be able to apply the educational discount to the upgrade if you wanted to upgrade from standard to suite. With that in mind, I am saying to my students at the universities I work at that suite is a very, very good option. You have the full version of Ableton Live at £269, paying three installments. You've got the full version then with no limitations. So when I started out, I started with standard. I was fortunate enough to get an artist discount. I had it for years. The only limitation I felt was I didn't have the sampler instrument. And this is before simpler was a thing. And I needed to create some sample instruments for a band I was working with. One of the amazing features was I could just buy that from the Ableton shop. I then upgraded to Suite later and never looked back. It is an amazing DAW with lots of creative possibilities. And there are some really welcome newer features in Ableton Live 12. If you do buy Ableton Live and you would like some help, why not check out some of my Ableton Live tutorial videos here?